Hello and welcome to Dr. Nora. In today's episode, I'm going to be discussing with you how to properly protect yourself against the coronavirus. Following on from my last video where I discussed all the different masks, link in the description below, I received an abundance of questions, including some gems like, hey Dr. Nora, can I use a Kleenex to protect myself? So stay tuned because I'll be answering all of these questions and more. First up, let's talk about some recent guidelines by the people that run the world, the World Health Organization. They have advised us all to carry out strict hand hygiene, and I personally cannot recommend this enough. Right now, you're probably watching me on your mobile phone. How many times have you touched your phone in the last 12 months? How many times have you washed your phone in the last 12 months? Your phone is harboring viruses and bacteria. Ew. But on the positives, it's your bacteria and it's your viruses. Now let's take a trip to the supermarket. Okay, you're gonna go pick up some groceries, maybe some milk, maybe some bread. You're gonna pick up a basket. How many other people have touched that basket before you? Yuck, stop the video right now. Go and wash your hands, you dirty people. All right, well done, you've washed your hands. Now I'm gonna send you to wash them again because I'm gonna teach you how to wash your hands properly. To wash your hands thoroughly and properly, you need to wash them with soap and warm water. And to do so effectively, you've got to rub your palms, interlocking your fingers, washing your thumbs like so on both sides, and also washing your fingernails in the palm of your hand, and again the other side, and then washing your wrists. This whole process should take at least 30 seconds. Number two, the WHO have also recommended that we maintain a distance of at least one meter between ourselves and someone that may be sneezing or coughing. But why is that, I hear you ask. Did you know that our sneezes can travel at a speed of 100 miles an hour? That is right. So if someone is sneezing in front of you, you need to pick up the phone to Usain Bolt. Hey, Usain, can you teach me how to run fast? And then you need to bolt your way out of that situation. Or alternatively, just keep a one meter distance. In saying that, if you are someone who is sneezing or coughing, then really you should be donning one of these N95 or P2 masks. Hachoo! Did you wash your hands properly yet? One common question that I've commonly been asked is, hey Dr. Nora, can I reuse these masks? Can I wear them day in, day out on the tube? Can I look cool with them? I kind of want to take up a scrubs thing. No, these particular masks are disposable masks. That means they are to be used only once and then thrown away and disposed of in a closed bin, washing your hands thoroughly with soap and water afterwards. Because there is a mask shortage at the moment, the CDC have recently released recommendations that these masks can be used for a period of up to eight hours, provided that they are not soiled, they're intact, and the integrity has not been lost. If, however, it's humid and they've been sold and they've got blood products on them, they may no longer become effective. And so for those of you out there who want to wash your masks again and again, that is going to spoil the integrity of these masks and they may no longer become effective. Your safest bet is if you can't get your hands on a mask to practice your strict hand hygiene. There are a few other masks that have been recommended if you can't get hold of an N95 or a P2 mask that have been recommended by the NIOSH. Now these masks are a lot bulkier and I have to tell you that these are pretty, pretty bulky masks. The first mask is called an elastometric halt face respirator and this mask is huge and I'm talking huge. But the good thing about this mask is that you can actually reuse it and you can reuse it day in, day out but you have to make sure that you're cleaning it and you're disinfecting it between uses. It does come with a number of different filters and you can choose your filter depending on how efficient you want it to be. The filters typically range from 95 to 99%, which is similar to the N95, which is 95% effective. Or failing that, you can also invest in what we call an air purifying respirator. Now this does have to be a full mask. So you might look a bit funny, you might get some stares, you may even get featured in the Daily Mail when you're wearing this on the underground. There are also a number of other masks that you can use if you can't get hold of an N95 or a P2 mask, and they are as follows. N99, N100, P95, P99, P100, R95 and R99. All of these masks are as at least, or if not more, effective as your P2 and your N95 masks. I am in Gympie and I've got myself some P2 masks. 
that are disposable and they look really comfortable so I can't wait to use them in real life. Or if you're like me and you're struggling to find a mask and you're about to do a shift in Chinatown as a doctor and literally you've got an outbreak of coronavirus on your doorstep, you can do what I did. You can travel three hours up to the north of Australia to a town called Gympie. Now we're just crossing this beautiful bridge. This place is literally so empty. Which is where I managed to yield this beautiful supply of P2 and N95 masks. But of course, guys, remember that hand hygiene is your biggest, biggest, biggest security for the propagation of this virus. And more good news is that recently President Donald Trump of America has said that the big pharmaceutical companies in America are currently working actively on a vaccination and they're planning to get some human trials in April, which is one month away. And they're planning to roll out a vaccination towards the end of the year. So this is all very exciting news. So to summarize how to properly protect yourself against the coronavirus really comes down to hand hygiene. Wash your hands thoroughly. Make sure that you're keeping one meter away from those people who may be sneezing or coughing. And of course, if you yourself have got symptoms of sneezing or coughing, even if it's not coronavirus and it's just a, a usual flu or a virus, don yourself one of these masks, save others around you. Let's stop the propagation of this virus. And of course, if you are concerned about any symptoms, please make sure that you call up your medical centers, your emergency department before to turning up so they can prepare you an isolation room so that we make sure that we're not propagating this virus. My favorite comment of my last video was uh, this one. Can't we just use two pieces of Kleenex and some tape? No, Jason, we can't. I cannot guarantee that two pieces of Kleenex and some tape is going to protect you from the coronavirus outbreak. Of course, if you're sneezing into a tissue because you're ill and then you're disposing of it in a bin and then you're washing your hands, that certainly will stop the propagation of the coronavirus. Thank you so much for your comments, guys. I hope you found this video useful. And as always, if you have any more comments or questions, don't hesitate to drop me a line in the comment section below. But for now, take care and stay healthy. I'm cool, I'm clean, I'm clean, my hands are clean, my hands are clean, whoop, whoop, hand hygiene.